Hello everyone and welcome to iBasiac. Well today it's another demonstration video and the machine I've selected for the bag of filth is this Ensign SM2 manufactured by SIBO but branded Diversi. So this is a commercial grade vacuum cleaner. It's used in shops and offices so it should have no problem picking up dirt from a domestic house. Okay, without any further ado, let's get on with the video. I'll start off with a guided tour of the machine and the first test I've set for this cleaner is removing pet hair. And the pet in question may have just made an appearance on camera. She's just up on the back of the sofa where she shouldn't be. She thinks she's a cat. But anyway, I've already fulminated Daisy and there's a load of hair in front of me ready to be picked up. But first of all, let's take a closer look at this Ensign cleaner. So here we have the main cleaning head of the Ensign SM2 and because this is a commercial vacuum cleaner it has an extra wide path designed to clean larger areas quickly. Most domestic vacuum cleaners aren't quite as wide as this and in a smaller domestic house it is a little bit wide but in a large area such as a hotel or office block then the extra width does make cleaning a little bit quicker. Now on the front of the cleaning head we've got two indicator lights bag full or clog and check brush now the bag full or clog light illuminates obviously when the bags full or there's a blockage somewhere in the machine the check brush light illuminates when you haven't got the height control set at the right setting so if you've got the height control set too high the check brush light will illuminate to tell you to lower the brush it also illuminates when the brush is worn and you need to replace it. Servicing on this machine, like any SIBO machine, is very easy. So if we do get a problem with the brush, if it needs cleaning, we don't need any tools to remove it. All we do is press this button here and the end cap comes off. Like that. And then we just pull out the brush roll easy as that so if you've got long hairs if you're forever trying to clean your brush roll if you've got long haired dogs or long haired people living in your home this is ideal and you find this sort of system on all SIBO upright cleaners and their power heads they, the brush rolls can all be removed with just a press of a button so that's a very very good feature so when we've cleaned the brush we can just pop it back in so you don't even have to turn the machine upside down to do this but you, do, you need to move it until it goes flush and then just pop the end cap back on just locate it properly and that's a bit lower down than that there we go there's a four position height control dial situated on the side of the cleaning head and it's located here position one for low pile carpets position two for medium pile three for long pile and four for the longest pile carpet. You can keep turning it the same way and it goes from one to four or you can turn it back, it doesn't matter. So if you've got it on setting one and need to go onto a long pile carpet, you can move it directly to four. This is the orange handle release pedal and this little slider control here enables you to either have the handle in a floating or the intermediate position. I'll show you what that means now. At the moment it's in the floating position so when I release the handle I can obviously move it to the operating position but without having to press the pedal again I can move it to the flat to the floor position. This is ideal if you've got lots of low furniture to clean under you don't have to keep pressing the pedal you can go from operating to flat to the floor without pressing any more pedals but if you want the intermediate stop you just move this slider here to that position and now when you press on the pedal it stops at the operating position this is good if you need to clean lots of area rugs where you need to lift the machine over the threshold of the rug to get onto the rug otherwise you can find some machines will just push the rug along this way you can tilt the machine back and then guide it over the rug but if you want to go into the low position you do have to press the pedal again in order to clean under low furniture. Two cleaning tools are stored on the back of the machine. This extra long crevice tool 
and this all-purpose nozzle designed to do stairs, furniture and curtains. Moving further up we have a built-in carry handle at the back and also the lower cord storage hook which can be moved to this position so you can release all the cord in one go. And you'll notice on this commercial model that the cord is orange. This is to prevent tripping hazards. With most vacuum cleaners of course you have a grey or a black cable but if this machine is being used in an environment where you've got customers or clients walking about it's good to have an orange cable so it can be seen so there's less likelihood of somebody not seeing it and going A over T. So it's a, it's a nice little feature and it just adds a bit of colour to this rather grey drab looking vacuum. As well as the two onboard cleaning tools we've got the quick release wand and hose. You just pull it out, pull out the hose, it will lock in the position, you just give it a tug and it locks in the open position and then you can use the machine either with a nozzle or without. So as you're cleaning, you can just whip the hose out and just go into the corners or reach up high to get those pesky cobwebs. With this Ensign SM2, you get a handy thumb operated on off switch. And you'll also notice that the cable is high up on the machine. This saves you tripping over it again. It's a very good location to have a cable on a vacuum. You'll see many cheap domestic vacuum cleaners have the cable exiting the machine from the base. Sometimes you do get a clip at the handle to keep it out of the way. But having the flex coming out of the handle at the top is a very good idea. Naturally this is a bagged vacuum cleaner and to access the dust bag we just pull this lever at the top of the bag door and the whole bag door comes away and with it comes the dust bag. This is the older paper version, SIBO have a new upgraded fleece bag. This is the bag that fits all the popular X series automatics so they're very cheap to buy and very easy to get hold of. So when you need to change the bag we just pull it away from the bag support collar and then fit a new bag until it clicks. There we go. Didn't click, but anyway, it is in. And then position the bag door back and close the lever. If you haven't put the bag in correctly or you haven't put a bag in at all, you can't close the bag door. So that's a little safety feature. There's also a filter here which can be replaced. Again it's the same filter you'll find on the SIBO Automatic X vacuums. Now why is this filter so long you may ask? Well I'll tell you. Let me just pop it back. Also another feature I'll point out before I put the filter back, if you don't have the filter in place the bag door won't close either. So I'll just pop it back in there and I'll just put the bag here just to show you what it looks like. So the suction for this machine comes from the bottom here and because the filter runs the full length of the bag compartment it means it can maintain suction as the bag's filling. Now a lot of upright vacuum cleaners might have a filter at the bottom where the suction comes from so as the bag's filling it's having to draw the air through a lot more dirt so it's, the vacuum's working harder and suction can be reduced. But because this filter is at the side of the bag, it doesn't matter how full the bag gets, the suction remains constant throughout. So again, it's an old design, but it's a design that works and it's very effective. One last thing to show you before I get on with the demonstration is the exhaust filter, which is located here. And that needs to be replaced from time to time. As you can see, I've used this machine a fair bit and the filter's already gone black. That's black with carbon dust from the motor, that's not actually dust that's passed through the dust bag. I have been able to wash this type of filter, SIBO don't recommend it, but it is hand washable as long as you make sure it's dry before putting it back. Okay, so here's a load of pet hair. I've added to Daisy's hair, the black hair, I've added a little bit of golden retriever hair. It's a little harder to see on camera against a beige carpet, but I've put down quite a bit more hair to add to daisies. So without any further ado, let's pass the Ensign SM2 forward and back through the middle of this pet hair. I'm having it on its lowest setting. This is a low pile carpet, so it's on setting one. Now, 
as you can see, two sweeps. So there's a tiny bit there it's left, but, oh, and a bit there. God, I'm, being, I'm being ultra critical, but that isn't a bad result. As you can see from, I can see on my viewfinder, you can definitely see where I've been. So it is very good for pet hair, that's due to the brush roll. Very good stiff brushes, nylon brushes, that do help to whisk away pet hair. Before I put down some different types of dirt, I'm going to clean up the rest of this dog hair and then we're going to give the Ensign SM2 another test on this carpet. go for a wide angle shot for this since there's a lot to clean up but don't worry for those who like to see close-up shots of dirt being sucked into a vacuum stay tuned because after I've done the initial forward and back pass I will obviously attempt to clean up the rest of this mess okay then here goes I wasn't expecting that. It's telling me to check the brush. I think I haven't got it low enough. Now I don't know if you can see if you can see the little red light flashing. I did put it on setting two because I thought it wouldn't be able to cope on setting one. But I think what, what's happened? The machine has actually switched off, and it's telling me to check the brush. Either that, or I've picked up too much mess and it's clogged the brush roll. Let's have a look underneath. Oh, well it is a bit clogged, yes. <laughs> this is rather a lot of dirt. Anyway, let's start again. You'll be able to see though, there is a bit of a difference already. But it wasn't doing as well as I was expecting it to do. But it's on its setting one now, let's try again. So I'll switch the machine off and switch it back on again. veer off course a little bit so it's a, a little bit wonky but ooh, I'm not sure if the camera can quite pick up the difference can you tell um, where I've been I think you can just about tell you can just about see a difference can't you between where I've been and where I haven't been pretty good I'd say I mean it is a lot of dirt it has left little bits you know to be ultra ultra critical there's a few little bits here and there that it's not got on this time but it will everything here will end up inside the dust bag I'm pretty sure of that but I did notice with the rice particles in particular there was a, a decent amount of agitation so it was beating the carpet like the old-fashioned hoovers used to so let's have some close-up shots see if we can catch the agitation of this machine
front of me we have all the usual suspects. Flour, rolled oats, couscous and rice. I nearly forgot the last ingredient of this mess. Now, I'm not really sure how this is going to perform. It's not really very good on hard floors, I don't think, but anyway, we'll give it a go. The main strength of this cleaner, of course, in a commercial environment would be for large areas of carpeting, but we'll see how it does on this floor. I've got it on its lowest setting. There's no beta bars or anything to damage the floor, so hopefully it'll be okay. impressions apart from the fact it scattered a whole load of dirt behind it as I expected it would. Now some SIBO upright cleaners, some domestic SIBOs such as the X series do have a little rubber or silicon strip, I'm not sure what it's made of, that's behind the brush roll. Now that's designed to prevent the dirt from scattering. How effective that is I'm not sure but this particular cleaner doesn't have any form of squeegee behind the brush roll so where I've cleaned, the path I've cleaned looks very good but behind the path we can see all that dirt that it's scattered. Now it might be easier for you to see the scattering effect if I use the machine from this angle and see if we can catch it scattering out the back. Predictably, as many uprights do, it has scattered the dirt. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this, the rest of this mess here because I've got another vacuum cleaner I want to make a video of today, suction cleaner, which I'm sure will cope a little bit better than this upright. Stair cleaning isn't a strong point of this particular vacuum cleaner or any similar SIBO upright because of the short hose and where it's positioned. You can safely get up about six steps of a standard flight before the machine will start to topple. So it's not very good, but this is a commercial cleaner and how often do you see in a commercial environment carpeted stairs that have been cleaned with an upright? If it has carpeted stairs, more likely than not, they'll have a pneumatic Henry or something similar to do that job. Like I said, the strong point in this machine is for large areas of carpet. But anyway, we can get round the inability to clean stairs by purchasing the optional SIBO extension hose. This is the extension hose that you can easily obtain online or direct from SIBO for about £30. Now this will enable me to clean right to the top of the stairs with the machine safely on the bottom. So in order to fit it we fit the dark grey rubbery end to the existing hose that's attached to the machine. Just push and twist until you've got it fitted tightly on. Onto the end of the hose you can put any of the cleaning tools directly, so this is ideal if you want to clean the car, it gives you a little bit more flexibility in tight spaces, or you can put the extension hose into the wand, press the button, lock it in place, and then put whatever cleaning tool you want onto the end of the wand. Now with the extension hose attached, let's see how far we can reach up the top of these stairs. Well, I can safely say that with the optional extension hose, you can clean a standard flight of 13 stairs with no trouble. Well, that's just about the end of my demonstration of this Ensign SM2 Upright Vacuum Cleaner by SIBO. If you want to buy one, they don't come cheap. They're over £400 and you can only really buy them from specialist websites that cater for the commercial trade. So it's not one that you'll see widely available used in homes. If you want a decent bagged upright vacuum cleaner, then I suggest you look at the SIBO X series or the SIBO Felix, both superb vacuum cleaners. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the review, hope you found it useful. Please subscribe and you'll be updated every time I upload a new floor care video. If you have any comments or questions about this cleaner, please ask in the section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.